Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player. In the last episode, we got hit by a dilemma. We are supposed to go out on loan because Mikhailovich doesn't think we're ready for the first team. And there's three things we can do. Option one is to leave the club immediately, take the first offer that comes round. Bromby IF apparently is a decent Danish club. I could go there. Option two, I wait. I think this through and I only accept an offer from one of the teams in the top five leagues in Europe. So it's at least somewhat respectable, which is a good option. I prefer it over the first one. And the final option, option three, is to be Gianluigi Donnarumma. And he stayed. He fought for his place in real life. And a lot of you wanted me to copy his path and do exactly what he did, and that's stay and fight, not give up, not just strip over the first hurdle, just keep fighting, keep proving myself, and hopefully that will do the job. Mikhailovic may not yet believe in me, but I believe in myself, and you guys believe in Donnarumma. Now, the fact that he doesn't believe in me doesn't mean he can't see I'm in good form. At least he's he's realizing that I'm doing well. So he picked me for the first game of the Serie A season. And this is a good sign. Let's get straight into it. Let's make our Serie A debut and get that clean sheet. As we are heading into the game, you can see I'm experimenting with the camera angles for this one. I also want to say a massive thank you for the support on the channel recently. By the time we're recording this, uh, we're 25 subscribers away from 8,000. By the time you're watching this, we may have hit that. So whatever number we're on, thank you guys ever so much, every single one of you. But let's focus on the game now because there is a certain coach I need to prove to that I am the number one goalkeeper for this team. Corner kick with Borja Valero. This could be my first chance of doing something in this game, easily claimed. This time it's Fiorentina going forward. Christian Tello with the no-touch dribbling. He does well. He crosses one into the back post. And that's well defended by Ignazio Abate to not allow them that header on goal. That could have been really nasty if uh, they connected onto that. But Alonso is going to whip one far. I'm completely out of position. Jesus Christ, what a let off. Lovely again by Adriano. Baca is in the middle. He's been brought down. It's a penalty. It has been given by the referee. Milan get the ideal opportunity to score from the spot. Luis Adriano uh, seems agitated, but he's done well to win the penalty there. Although a story did get the ball, Carlos Baca will be stepping up from the spot. Carlos Baca, he stutters and he places that in the bottom corner. AC Milan take the lead. It's 1 0. Get in. Carlos with the first goal of the season for Milan. They could be off to winning ways. I was worried after preseason that we weren't ready, but dominating away from home against Fiorentina, that's when you know you're doing well. Three shots on target. They've only had one chance where my inexperience nearly cost us a goal, but it didn't happen. The clean sheet is still intact. Ignazio Abate has got Montolivo on the front post. It's a good header, but Tata Rusano with an easy catch. Christian Tello into Kalinic. Good chance here. Blasikowski with the shot. Another... Oh my god. That has to be... That is so lucky. That is so lucky. There is... I can't... I can't describe it with any other words. The first shot was easily blocked. The second one just flies into the top corner. First shot that actually threatens us. And it's a goal. It's a really good ball by Alonso into Blasikowski. Hits it straight at me. Decent enough save. And Fiorentina looking stronger now in the second half. Borja Valero... Into Kalinic, Valero with the shot. I nearly lost my words there, but the save was made. And it looks like we're in trouble. Can't make the same mistake again on this corner this time. It has to be mine. There we go, easy. Jakub Lashikowski with the shot, easily collected. You're not going to try and beat me from distance, are you? Well, you are going to try, but you're just not going to succeed. Again, the chorus, man. I completely misjudge it. This is awful goalkeeping on my behalf. Honestly, like, what am I doing there? Why did... It... Oh, God, I, I have no words. That's just awful. Mihailovic has every right to drop me. I lost us that game. I absolutely lost us that game. And yes, I know Fiorentina played better and they deserved it. But I still felt like I should have done better 
with with the chances they got. I mean, this is frustrating. This honestly is frustrating. You can see they had eight shots, seven on target compared to our four. I just, I can't be happy with the fact that I conceded off a quarter like that. We've got to keep working hard in training. This is the only way I'm going to get somewhere. My handling has gone up a little bit. Surprisingly enough, I'm once again picked for the next game, the second game of the season at home against Empoli. A much needed three points is what we need from the San Siro. My debut at the, the San Siro now, actually, technically. Hopefully this one will go a little bit better than my debut away from home. We need three points. It's absolutely crucial. Can't let the team down. Not again. Here they come. Empoli attacking us. That's brave considering they're away from home. It's a great ball into the area. Powerful shot. I get down low fast enough. Good work by Luis Adriano. Here is Bonaventura into Carlos Baca. And it's 1-0. Baca again with his second goal of the season. Gives Milan a lead. This time though, we need to hold on to it. Great work by Adriano and Bonaventura and Carlos Baca. He's the main man up front for us. Mario Rui inside. Lovely ball. Stung my hands. It's offside. Thank God for that. We conceded again straight after we scored. I was not ready. I was not prepared to lose my clean sheet already. And that is indeed offside just by a little margin. Adriano. Good ball out wide to Kaisuke Honda. Inside. No, he takes the shot himself and it's a good one. Decent save. Finally, I'm making a difference in a positive way. We only had one chance we scored. Empoli had more chances, but I kept them out. This is what you want to see from your goalkeeper. Hopefully, this match will be redemption for what happened in the previous one. Inside, Pucciarelli is through on goal. Pucciarelli, is he going to go for the cross, for the shot, for the pass? They're passing it back. Bouchel finds his man in the middle. I get a hand to it. And I accidentally triggered the trainer as well. But I don't care. As long as I get to the, to the shots, I'm happy. And oh my days, I didn't even know this was coming up. Ignazio Avate with a good whip into the back post. Bonaventura with a flying volley. Spectacular effort. I'd really like us to score a second because I'm not comfortable with the way we're playing right now. Zielinski, Paredes, back to Zielinski, Macarone inside. He tries to find a man. Easy catch. And there we go, that's the end of the game. We have survived our debut at the San Siro. A solid 1-0 victory, a clean sheet and a good performance. Let's take a look at our match rating. 7.5, 6 saves in total. Very happy with that performance. We're nearing the end of today's episode. Again, another training session and it looks very likely that there is no need for us to go out on loan. We have played both games so far. I did poorly in the first one. Mihailovic still gave me a chance in the second one and we did well in that one. So I'm pretty sure when we uh, when we uh, go and take a look at the team sheet for the next game, we will be picked. So Como, I will reject your loan offer. A message from Mihailovic. And this changes everything. This changes my morale, my mindset. Gianluigi, I have considered your request to be removed from the loan list and have decided to remove you. This basically means that even though I refused all the loan offers, he wasn't planning on loaning me out towards the end of that uh, of that transfer window, which is fantastic news. I'm so proud to actually be a first-team goalkeeper now. That basically confirms it. He believes in me. I'm still going to keep training. I'm still, still going to try and get my rating up. We just cannot rest. We just cannot slow down. We have to work hard if you want to keep this position. Sitting mid-table with three points out of two games with Inter and Palermo in the next episode. I know you guys probably want me to play three games, but due to the storylines, I'm going to keep it to two games. But I will upload this series frequently. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all at the San Siro next time, where we will be playing the Derby. The first ever Derby. And I'll see you all later.